Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Today I have the Japan Docomo Sony Xperia Z3, and I will be flashing global variant Xperia Z3 firmware of model D6603 on Docomo variant to get rid of all the Japan stock applications which are in Japanese language and also the notifications that are getting in Japan language. I will flash Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow global firmware. So the Docomo Xperia Z3 must be on Android stock Marshmallow to avoid any issues of network signals and mobile data like 3G, 4G. And in case your Docomo Z3 is on Lollipop, then take an OTA update and update your Docomo Z3 from Lollipop to Marshmallow to get the Marshmallow base band. For those users who use the NFC in the daily driver routine, then do not attempt to flash the global firmware on Docomo Sony devices because the NFC will never work after flashing or converting Docomo to global variant. So we will be needing a good quality of data cable, Docomo Xperia Z3 device and its battery should be charged around 60 to 70 or 80 percent. A computer, in case of a laptop, check the laptop battery should be charged. Thing that you must do before starting this procedure is to make a backup of all your important data which is on your Docomo Z3 internal storage because this procedure will erase the internal storage. So save all your data to your computer hard drive. Then go to settings and then to accounts and tap on the Google account then sync it once to update your last and latest activity with Google and after sync remove the Google account. Now power off the Docomo device and uh, moving towards the computer screen to install the required software for the flashing procedure. Links of all these software and firmware are given in my video description for downloading. So make a new folder and save all your requirement in that new folder. Install the Sony Xperia Companion on Windows. I have Windows 7 64-bit. Now install Flash Tool version 0.9.18.6 and this particular version need to be installed on Windows for flashing of firmware on Xperia Z3, either Docomo stock or the global. After installing Flash Tool, go to your disk C and open Flash Tool folder, then open Driver and double click on the flash tool driver for installing. Select the flash mode drivers and fast boot drivers. Then scroll down and look for the Xperia Z3. Then select it also and click install to start the driver installation. After installing drivers, go back to downloaded folder where all the files are saved and copy the global firmware file from there then go back to disk C and then to the users folder and open your own user folder. Remember not the public one and here you will see one more flash tool folder. Open it then open firmware folder and paste the global firmware file there. Now click start menu, go to all programs, then to flash tool and click to open flash tool program according to your windows version. Like I have windows 7 64 bit, so I am going for the flash tool 64. For the first time, opening flash tool on windows will start downloading few files from its server and it will take a time depending on your internet speed, so wait for it. Here we go, our flash tool is ready now for flashing. Now connect the Docomo Z3 device with your computer by the help of a data cable in flash mode to let the windows detect drivers and install it first before flashing. Hold your device and data cable 
and check the other side of data cable must be connected with computer. Now press and keep holding it press the volume down key and connect the cable with device and windows will give you a sound will detect the device and will start installing the drivers. When windows finish the drivers installation then must disconnect the cable from device. Click the arrow sign on flash tool and leave the selection to flash mode. Click OK and here you will see the global firmware. Click here then go to wipe window and do not change anything in this window. Let it be like this. I mean that all the three check sign must be there. Now come down to the exclude window and select or put a check sign on partition then TA and then baseband. Then click flash and wait. Let the flash tool to prepare the firmware and soon it will ask you to connect the device with computer in flash mode. Here we go. Hold your device and data cable and check the other side cable must be connected with computer. Now press and holding it press the volume down key and connect the cable with device. Then wait. Do not release the key until flash tool start the flashing. When flashing start then release the volume down key. Now you have to wait for complete the flashing process. Do not click anything, do not open anything, just leave your computer alone so the flashing procedure must not interrupt. It will take a little long time around like 5 to 6 or 8 minutes. When flash tool shows you the flashing finish, then disconnect the cable from device first and power on the device. And you will see that there is no more NTT Docomo logo because we have flashed the global firmware successfully. This is the first boot and it will take a time so be patient. NFC driver must be start updating but unfortunately NFC will not work anymore with the global firmware. So soon you will see that NFC driver updating failed. In case if your device prompt power off option after the first boot then tap on the power off. So your set will get power off to get the default factory settings. Simply power on it again and this time device will behave normally. Complete the setup screen and enjoy the global firmware of Xperia Z3 D6603 on the Docomo Xperia Z3. My next video will be how to root the Docomo device having Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Thanking you once again and we'll see you again. Till then, goodbye.